Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents. Our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. In today's video, we are going to be discussing new fragrances that I'm adding to my collection. Some of them are full bottles, others are travel sizes. I just felt like going shopping and I felt like getting some things that I had had my eye on for quite some time and also some things I'd never heard of before. So I hope you enjoyed this fragrance haul first impressions video. Let's jump right into it. True to fashion because this is a first impressions video and these are things I've just gotten. Haven't had a chance to play around with them at all. I tested a couple of them on my hand, on my wrist when I first got them, but no full wares. Um, I do have my computer pulled up. I had to find get my baby's chair and post this laptop up here to make it easily eye level. I hate when I have to type on the ground. Um, this first one that we're going to talk about is called Dolce and Gabbana. The only one, two. So I think that this is discontinued. So I just wanted it because I know it's discontinued. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. Um, I wanted it when it first came out. And I think it was my girl, Becky, who did a review on her channel and was like, this doesn't last, you know? And then I looked around a couple of more people. I mean, this is a while ago when it came out. And the general consensus was that it didn't last. Well... If I can avoid jumping into something because I'm getting told ahead of time it doesn't last, then that's what I'm doing. But again, the whole discontinue is starting to be harder to find. Vibes started, you know, popping up again. I said, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Everybody keeps saying it's a really, really pretty fragrance. just doesn't last. I have no problems throwing this in my purse and topping up. So the notes in this are at the top. Black currant, red berries, pear, and freesia love um middle notes are red rose coffee and violet and in the base we have tonka bean patchouli amber green and amber wood so this is for me that you know according to those notes i gotta always try to remember to show y'all the sprayer <laughs> Ooh, wow very interesting. That's that freesia. That's that freesia in that pear. For sure. There's a amazing freshness to this. Like, I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't that. It's been so long since I heard anybody talk about this. So I don't remember what was said, but this isn't a deep, dark, sweet berry fragrance like I thought it would be based on the bottle. Um, this is, man... That ambergris, oh yeah. The rose. Okay, so I like this. I did want to follow up with you guys and let you know that I finally got my hands on my flower bomb ruby orchid. So I did get it after it was sent back to Sephora because I was never able to pick it up in the post office because they're never open when they're supposed to be. They actually sent my package back. When I called Sephora and told them they were so great and they actually got another one out to me the next day. I, I just, I didn't have to pay anything extra or anything like that. So shout out to Sephora. Also, um, I did a review already on the Angel Nova Eau de Toilette formulation. That video is up. I'll put the card up here in case anyone missed it. Um, I did want to follow up with this. Um, this, while it is not as deep as the other parfum they are so similar in smell and this actually stayed around on me all day when i finally did a full wear of this i still smelled it on my way home now was it permeating throughout the room and leaving a scent trail that was crazy 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 to me no however check this i'm on the way out of the building right student comes running in at the last minute oh my gosh i forgot a mask i got classes tonight i was trying to catch you before you left the office is there anybody who can let me in? Well, front desk staff leaves had left like two, you know, um, hours earlier than that. So I said, you know, let me go in here. I know where they keep the mask. Let me open up the door. Go grab you a mask. And I handed her a mask. She puts her mask on and she goes, by the way, you smell amazing. Now, 
this is we're, we're at 10 hours now i have been out of my house and away from spraying this for 10 hours at this point and she could still smell she was not that close to me baby because i don't do that you ain't got no mask on either 20 foot rule forget a six feet but she could still smell it so i'm thinking maybe i had been used to it and i didn't realize how much it was still you know wafting off of me so for anyone who's concerned about the longevity I didn't top up that first day. Now, when I wore it the second time, I did top up because it's just what I do. And a lot of times I just want to fill the room again with whatever I'm wearing. You know, that's just me. Next up, we're going to discuss a perfume I never heard of before. I'm not even sure why it was recommended to me, but I was looking at other stuff and something was like, if you like this, you'll like this. And so I looked at it and this is called With Love by Paris Hilton. Um... You know, I like Paris Hilton perfumes, so I'm here for this. I'll be going ham. <laughs> I love the packaging, black and gold. You know I'm a sucker for black. I just, all things. Um, blue's my favorite color, but black is a definite close second. So, the top notes are green apple, kiwi, and bergamot. I don't even have to say anything. Terror Squad, you already know. Um, middle notes, Lily of the Valley, Orchid, and Wild Jasmine, and the base notes are Musk and Woodsy notes. So, what's not to like, you know? Pretty. Very pretty, very spring, very summer. Um, love the kiwi in this, love the kiwi in this, and the green apple. I really enjoy the note of lily of the valley i really just like the greenness in it you know the first time that i tested this it came across way more sexy than it is on the stick this is why it's very very important to always test things out on your skin on your clothes full wear however you get down with your perfume it definitely is better to wear it on you mm, i still i just love the kiwi and the apple in this fragrance. Next, we're going to talk about Jennifer Lopez's Still. This thing has made its rounds on YouTube. I do not know who started talking about this and hyped everybody up, but it just was all over the place. I got so tired of people asking me if I had smelled it that I went ahead and purchased it because it doesn't cost that much. Um, I've liked every other Jennifer Lopez fragrance that I've tried with the exception of Miami Glow. Gross. Um, glow, no, not, it, it is Miami Glow. The regular J-Lo Glow just gives me a headache. It smells amazing, but gives me the worst headache, so I can't wear it. But, um, this here, this is still, and it's super, 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 super generic. Like, um, the top notes are Earl Grey Tea, White Pepper, Mandarin Orange, Apple and Rice. The middle notes are Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, Freesia, Honeysuckle, Rose, Orange Blossom, and the bottom notes are, or base notes, are pepper, musk, iris, sandalwood, and amber. Lots of notes going on in here. It sounds like it will be a fun time. It is very basic and boring to me. Like, very basic and boring to me. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the hype is about. I definitely know that I want to wear this in a full wear. And also, um, it, it feels more like I'm going to enjoy that in the spring. Like, I have zero desire to wear it right now. And I knew that when I purchased it. Like, I didn't think I was going to go right out and uh, throw it on and think that was going to be my new winter scent. But nothing about it wows me at all. Is it cute? Yes, it, it does not smell bad at all. It does not smell cheap and synthetic or anything like that. Um, if you are budget-friendly shopping, if you love celebrity fragrances, that type of thing, then you will really enjoy this fragrance. But I think that because I have so many different types of fragrances and such a huge collection, this is just not it for me. This is boring to me. Um, pretty, but not necessary for my collection. Next up, we're going to talk about a fragrance I had never heard of. Um, and then I saw Among the Stars post something about this line. I think he had the regular one, though. And I think all of them are discontinued or something because it was it was a trip to actually find this. I had to buy it off Macari. 
This is called Pure DKNY Drop of Vanilla. The notes in this are Vanilla Sandalwood Dewdrop, Jasmine Lotus White Amber, Freesia Orchid Bulgarian Rose. Um, yeah, this, I love this fragrance. When I smelled it out of the bottle, I think I just sprayed it. This is ridiculous. I really got to learn how to spray high. I like this. I like this. This is definitely simplistic. This is definitely just run of the mill, nice and pretty. I'm going to run errands. Uh, going to work in the springtime. Summertime. This is so pretty. It's so clean and crisp and fresh um, and floral, but it's a floral that I could wear. It's like a burst of energy. Like it comes across like a super loud citrus floral it's so clean and just so nice now i haven't worn it fully on my skin i look forward to doing that in the heat um i'm really sad that the bottle is so small but you know what i'm not really sure why they discontinued this line if if, if the rest of them were like this then i would be on board um to to visit more with those see you do need sometimes just the, the simple things in your collection. And I do have some very easy reaches already. This is why I'm not impressed with this one so far. Again, I will be giving it a full try. But um, sometimes you just want those easy breezy days. A lot of us use those days for our body sprays and, and things like that. But the Pure DKNY drop of vanilla, just pretty to me. Really, really pretty. Next up, we're going to talk about a purchase that I made solely because of Amy Glam. I love her so much. That's my baby. So she talked about Burberry Her Eau de Toilette formulation. I was not going to pick this up. I don't wear the two that I have, the Burberry Her and the Intense. So why was I going to get the Eau de Toilette formulation? But she described it and I had to have it. So the notes at the top are pear, black currant, strawberry, and pink pepper. The mid rose peony, lily of the valley and honeysuckle, and the base notes musk and cedar. Dude, I'm a sucker for black currant pear. Peony is my favorite floral note of all time. Probably followed very closely by honeysuckle. You know, I just I I, I live and I love lily of the valley too. So I didn't expect this, y'all. I didn't expect this. And I sprayed this box four or five days ago when I got this. I absolutely love this. I love this fragrance. Um. Let me refresh my memory by spraying it again, again. Now, see, I have all these perfumes sitting over here. I don't want to spray it that. I don't want to spray it all over my, ooh, that sprayer is horrible. That's one thing, oh, she smells good. This line has beautiful sprayers. The strawberry. Ooh, that strawberry loud this morning. Mm. Okay. Put Tara Michelle, make up your mind. Where are you putting the ones you talked about? Okay, so. <laughs> pretty for the sake of being pretty y'all um the strawberry in here is absolutely exquisite it's one of those strawberries that's akin to the strawberry in um kate spades new york i love the use of strawberry in that one very fresh very um happy bright i cannot wait to wear this for spring and even more so in the summer when it's super super hot here this is one of those pretty for the sake of being pretty fragrances um, it's going to remind you of several different things. It's going to, not identical, but if you love fruity fragrances, if you love a burst of energy that comes across almost like fresh and zesty, um, you're really going to like this. I love this. I love this. Okay, guys. So I want to talk to you about a new um, niche house that reached out to me called Bell Centaur. And I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I love the website, guys. I found them on, or they found me, um, I think via email. And then I went to their Instagram. Um, they send you this beautiful card. They put your name on it and send you this beautiful card, which will give you a discount code after you purchase with them. Um, I love what this is made out of. It's so pretty. So there's a statement. Um statement sense is what it says it's bill centaur statement sense handwritten here thank you for choosing bill centaur dear tara michelle spelled correctly t-e-r-a michelle with two l's 
Thank you for that. I hope you enjoy the fragrances and I look forward to your honest thoughts. May your choice of fragrance become an external statement of who you are and an internal remembrance of your unique power is like this little statement that's already printed on the card. Scent with love. And I'm not sure what that name says, but that's good that I can't read their signature. So it gives you this card that tells you all about, you know, the perfumes, fragrances that they have. So the I just, look, unboxing is not my thing. I'm so uncouth. I'm sorry, but the fragrances came inside of this little pouch, which came inside of this pouch. I really like this, uh, whatever this is you know, material. Somebody out there will know what that is. Let me keep my little fingernails off of here because people can't stand the fact that I don't wear fake nails. I'm sorry. I'm going to probably get some press-ons or something just to calm you guys down because I do have terrible nails. I don't care. Okay, so this one is called Alpha Pink. I will just state that there was something that was on here like some letters, something really, really cute that was glued on here. Somehow in the packaging and in the travel, it didn't make it and it fell off. Um, and then I couldn't unjumble it. It was like they were almost magnetic and all over each other. This is the cylinder that it comes in. It has the same statement on the cylinder that it does online when you're looking at it. When you pull up their website, they're playing this really sexy, like soothing music. I wasn't ready for that. It was really, really cute. And I, it just it just caught my attention. First thing I noticed when I opened this is I really do like the bottle, even without a name on it. And uh, the top, the wooden top, I just, I don't know. I like the vibe. This smells just like Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, and I, I didn't do a side-by-side -side comparison, but you know that's when you can tell that you're dealing with a dupe, when you smell it and you go, okay, that's that vibe. That's that Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe. So I can't say, I won't say it, smell, it, it does to me. It smells just like it coming right out of the thing. Now I'm going to spray it. And I can tell you here that nobody, I, I, I was not told that there was a, this was a dupe house or an inspiration house. Um, so I can't say that. But this says, meet the sweet notes of amber blended with bright notes of saffron, rich with addictive notes of salted caramel anchored on a smooth, alluring base of cedar wood, exuding strength, promoting warmth, inspiring joy and passion. Expression is leader, confident, inspirational, self-assured, resilient, and strong. The scent profile featuring notes of amber, saffron, salted caramel, ambergris, and cedarwood. It it just it let's see. Okay, I like that come out and burst and just get me everywhere sprayer. I really like that. Okay, it's not identical to Baccarat Rouge. But the vibe is there. If you've been wanting Baccarat Rouge and that's your cup of tea, you'll probably like this as well. There are some differences, but it's that vibe. Yeah. Very light. Takes over in the air, but doesn't feel like it would be too consuming on your skin. I don't know. I haven't done a wear test yet. So, man. Man. That's that's right now. I want to wear Baccarat Rouge today. I have uh, Baccarat Rouge here and it's just giving me all of that. I do feel like there may be something else. Why do I smell? Okay, the cedar wood. Yeah, the cedar wood is coming through nice and potent, which isn't something that kicks in super, super strong at the beginning of any of my other saffron fragrances so quickly. So I do like that. That's bringing me out of my element of, oh, another Baccarat, Raj du uh, Baccarat Rouge dupe. It's giving me something more now. It's literally changing in the air. Guys, I'm going to have to give this a full wear, but I do love to talk about new niche houses when they come to me. I do like the packaging, but this is a lesson learned. Whatever they are doing to stick their stuff on here, it didn't stay. So that's something for them to learn. Um, and I'm, I haven't talked to them. I don't do that. I don't reach out to the companies and go, oh, this is what I'm going to say. Nope. Especially when you come to me, you already know who you're dealing with. You sought me out. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you know what you're getting. 
you're getting my exact thoughts. So it isn't a bad thing. You're just starting your new company and something went a little left. That's cool. That's life. We're going we're gonna to rock through it. We got to work on the lettering. Now, here's the thing. They also sent me some samples. Ooh. Um, a lot of their fragrances have oohed and scared me. So I picked the two safest ones when they told me they were going to send me something. But there are some samples here. And because I feel like this video is running long, I think I'm about to make this a two-parter. I had intentions of talking about these two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve decants I purchased of stuff I've never heard of before. But I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. I think we're going to end it here with the Belle Centaur. And then I'll come back and do a second video where we talk about 12 new fragrances I've never tried before. Okay, now... I was a good girl and didn't unwrap the second one. This way, you guys get to see how it came with the tissue paper. The little, says the Bell Aromas statement scents. And that's different from Bell Centaur. And I'm wondering if it's because when I Googled the Bell Aromas, so many different websites came up. Something to do with Wayfair and all kinds of other stuff. So, I'm going to take the tissue paper off like I did the other one. I don't even remember what the other one was that I got. So we're going to see here now. This one says, okay, Zara Tonin. Yeah, Parfum. Oh, I love the gold um, of the sticker here. And it's just, you know, I live. Okay, so this is how it comes. Going to try to be really careful. And then again to there, you know, it was super cold. The package had been on the porch for like seven hours. Maybe that did something to the glue. They made it come off of the other bottle. Oh, yes. Okay. I, yep. Probably has something to do with the cold. And the fact that I unwrapped it and didn't let it go back to room temperature. Look at that. That's beautiful. Little bitty like magnetic sticky letters or whatever is probably what that is. Again, they're just starting off. Maybe you can't get the etched in laser glass printed thing. I like this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. That's, again, that's beautiful. I hope you guys can see that. Uh, nice and simplistic. I was on Mr. Cologne 76's um, live like last week. And I was, oh, no, no, no. That was, um, I was on Pam Jordan's live. And I was talking about, you know, people was like, oh, the packaging can make it cost three or $400 and $600. Baby, you could put it in a glass bottle and write the name of it in magic marker. I put that in the comments. Pam laughed and a lot of people in the comments did too. This one girl told me I won comment of the night. I'm not joking though. You don't need to do a whole bunch of crazies. It's going to cost you a ton of money that you have to then push up on me. I'm here for the juice. I'm here for the juice, not the packaging. So let me see if I can find Zara Tonin on their website, on Instagram. I am Zara. My radiance inspires joy and injects happiness into that which enters my presence. What? I love that. Just like a serotonin boost on a warm summer's day. Meet an invigorating opening of bergamot and orange blossom, entering into a rich floral heart of jasmine, carnation, tuberose, and ylang-ylang, settling on a sweet yet woody composition of amber, honey, patchouli, vetiver, and musk. I see why I picked this one. Yeah, y'all got me with this mister. Y'all got me with this mister. Okay. Okay. Yes. The orange blossom is very prominent. Very prominent. The tuberose coming through. This is nice. If you like um, tuberose, if you like, whoa, something just fell off of me. That was a bee. Did the bee come off of the bottle? Okay, this must be from the other bottle. This is what I was talking about. So this is like the sticky bee symbol that is down here must have come off the other bottle because i tried to save it so it came off that package it just scared me though i wonder how long they had been sitting there but anyway um this one is nice it's nice if you're an orange blossom and tuberose lover you're really going to like this fragrance but here's my thing um i don't like i said i don't know anything about longevity i don't know anything about projection just yet they sit very nice in the air 
I still smell the first one and the second one. And they don't smell bad together, actually, in the air. But here's my thing. I need to know if this is supposed to be an inspired by house. I must need to look more on their website. But then again, this could also just be, look, I have a collection of a particular size. I have smelled even more than what I still currently own because I've sold and gifted away just as many as I still currently have. So not a lot is going to just hit me and be the most authentic thing um, that I've never smelled before. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to reach out to the owner um, and discuss a few things because I don't want to say it's an inspired by house and I don't know that. Oh, this just took a, okay. You know what? Something that I read in here was like, let these sit on your skin. Let them open up. Don't judge them originally. Wear them and see what happens. These things turn. Yes, it pulled me in with that Baccarat Rouge profile, but it started to switch. And that was in the air, not even on me. This one is leaving out of that Lantra D Classic de Essence realm and becoming something else. The patchouli and the vetiver, though, still keeping their femininity, but very fierce. I take it all back. I take it all back. Um, I'm going to play with these because I am becoming more and more of a fan as I'm sitting here. I love that. I absolutely love that. That's like checkmate. We told you to wait. But um, because I've had them for, gosh, like, I don't know. I think I've had these for almost a week and just been so busy in my real life. I wanted to hurry up and bring Bell Centaur to you guys and say, hey, go check them out if you want. Um, new niche house on the rise. I will come back to you guys with the follow-up after giving these full wares, uh, wares, a couple of full wares to let you know what I think. Now, I'm also going to do the four samples because I got time before I got to start getting ready for work. And I'll probably edit out the part where I'm actually looking them up. We're about to try Khalifa. I just love the way the bottles look. I love the way the bottles look. Um... Yeah, we're just going to have to figure out the, the, the adhesive part. Well, this is a test. I don't know why they no test to spray like. Although it sprays amazing. Khalifa, just give me the notes real quick. It is going to be rose, saffron, oud, cypriol, vanilla, jasmine, and sandalwood. This is definitely more about the ooh, the Cipriol. That's very interesting. I think I was expecting it to be more reminiscent of something I've smelled before and it isn't. This doesn't smell like the Chagoff ooh, the ooh bouquet, the Swiss Arabian things that I've smelled with oud. This is very daring. This is very risky to me. I, I could never pull this off, but I could respect the heck out of the woman that could. This is also very unisex to me. I could absolutely see a man wearing this. But there's a lightness to it. There's a There is a femininity to it. But that Cipriol and that, ooh, baby, they are coming through to snatch your entire life. You better like a like menthol -y, minty oud vibe. The rose, this is not a dominant rose. And that sandalwood, this is interesting. I like the smell of this. I wouldn't be mad at like going to a jazz club. And this being the scent that's in their diffusers, like that type of vibe, that type of environment, this being the scent that was in the air when I walked in. That's, I like, you know, I have to say that I like the scent, not for me to wear on me, but Khalifa, a lot of personality, very bold, too bold for me. Okay, next up we have Diosa. And I'm going to spray that. Looks like the scent profile for Diosa is Rose, Oud, 
geranium, praline, jasmine, cedarwood, sandalwood, amber, and musk. Wow. With the exception of oud, I like all of those notes. Okay. I have smelled something similar to this before, not identical. Um, if you like woody florals and you want to test oud, you want to find out if you're an oud girl, um, this might be your safest bet. The rose in here is a beautiful rose petal rose. The oud is nice and light. It is there. It's a pungent thing. Oud is a pungent thing. I just don't know how to get around that. But um, you got the, the praline and the jasmine. I do get the geranium in here. It's not just super duper overbearing, but it is there. But the cedar wood and the sandal wood and the musk. This is the musk that's akin to Born in Rama Yellow Dream. This is that type of musk. So, I strangely enough, I like this. Um, again, I'm not an oud person. So you take the oud out of here, and this might be something that I would actually wear. But this would not upset me. If I sat next to somebody in a cubicle and this is what they wore, like I, I'm getting something different every time I smell it. And here's the thing. With the exception of Khalifa, I think I might make Alex wear Khalifa and just to test it for me because I just don't I uh, but I am definitely going to test what is it Diosa yeah I want to see how that vibes with me I'm gonna play with that sample till it's gone because I'm interested I'm interested um I've, I'm always looking for the oud fragrance that I feel like I can wear out of the house this one makes me feel like I can wear it out of the house I can go to work with that and not be self-conscious that somebody's going to be like what what is because you know oud is not liked by everybody i think oud is probably 30 70 with 70 people 70 percent of people not liking it and 30 who vibe with it so that is a scary scenario to leave out of the house smelling like something where i got a chance that 70 percent of the people i come in contact with that they are not going to like it like so the next one we're going to talk about is called bola nail bola, bola nail I, listen uh-uh. Nope. Um, scent profile features rhubarb. Yeah, come on. Okay, this is a blank one. Rhubarb, pink pepper, sandalwood, patchouli, amber, caramel, vanilla, oud again, and musk. All right, now. Give it to me. Give it to me, B-O-L-A-N-L-E, with an accent mark over the E, I believe. Like, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Bolanley. Bolanley? Hmm. I don't know. Ooh. This is sexy. This is sexy. See, the rhubarb, through, that's not, no. Rhubarb is not the show it is. I don't even, I don't even, the rhubarb isn't even showing up for me. This is definitely pink pepper, patchouli, amber, caramel, oud. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of musk. This is definitely about the pink pepper, the patchouli, the amber, the caramel, the oud. Sandalwood. Oh, this is sexy. I can't say the name of it, but let me tell you something. I think I want this. I'll play around with it. But it's cold outside. You know, it's too cold for what I'm thinking about. But I just automatically thought of like a real cool, chilly, you are definitely bundled up. Fall night, date night. Or even a winter date night. 
just not outside. Like you can be outside and go for a cool chilly walk in the fall. But this one, you bundled up and when you take your coat off in a restaurant, start snatching lives with this fragrance. I like this. I'm not an oud girl and the oud is sitting there. And maybe because I've smelled it in a couple of other fragrances this morning, I'm just warming up to it. But I like how this oud is done. I like the spiciness. I like the deep, dark, rich decadence of it. Not necessarily in a gourmand, foody type of way, but in a sexy way. <laughs> it just, it's very date night. I would never even think to wear that anywhere except for when it was cold or chilly enough for it. And I was out here just, you know what I'm saying? Snatching lives. Last but not least from the House of Bell Centaur, we have Opulence. The notes here are rose, grapefruit, saffron, armoise, I've never seen it before, violet, jasmine, amber, leather, and of course, everybody say it with me, oud. I didn't pick any of these fragrances for a reason. When the person I talked to, who I believe was a female, when she told me that she was going to send me some samples, I already knew I was in for the ooh because ooh was everywhere outside of the two that I had chosen full bottles of. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. <clears throat> Nasal passages just opened up. Like, wait a minute. This might be some type of healing salve bomb fragrance. There's something in here. I, I, this this might be the Armoise. I don't like something that's in here. It is clashing with everybody else in a way that's super bitter and green to me. Moving around everything else, the grapefruit and the saffron are hitting the same way that the the, the citrus and the pink pepper hit. In, is there pink pepper in here? This is giving me that really loud oomph that I get from uh, K. Ali's Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. These do not smell alike at all. It's not what I'm saying. But that choking sensation when you first smell it, that it's like, whew, that zest from the grapefruit in this with the saffron, I feel like there should be some type of pepper. I don't. What is Armoise? What is A-R-M-O-I-S-E? Let's look it up real quick because what is what is happening with this uh, this fragrance? I need to know. It turned it to mugworts. First of all, I don't. Le genre Artemisia. Okay, that's not even in freaking English, bro. What are we talking about? Armor says a dry, slightly bitter, slightly sweet scent that reminds me of sage, tarragon, and aromatic greenness. Okay, okay. Said I used it in King uh, Kingston Fairy to help produce the salty, leathery leaved, herbal green scent of the gardens and beach areas near the fairy dock. Well, why I tell you my nose ain't no joke. Okay, <laughs> what, what, what you okay, so there we go with the bitter green that I said I was getting. So I would say first suggestion, take that out of here. <laughs> I'm not even trying to be like ignorant. I'm serious. I don't like it. Um, but the rest of this, like the grapefruit usage in here is life. Uh, just wait about five to seven seconds before you take a deep breath. I'll tell you that. The rose is not overbearing. It's not the star at all. The grapefruit is the star of this. The, the the leather the oat look i think i would love this fragrance i would really want to play around with this because i'm a citrus lover if this our moist stuff came up out of here um if you like a little bitter green leather oud you know this it isn't bad like I'm intrigued by everything else that I'm, I'm smelling around the bitter greenness. I would really love to sample this without the bitter greenness. And I think that there's something magical that could be here um, in this fragrance. Oh my God. I just, this, this, this little trip here just makes me want to go in somebody's perfume science lab 
and create something. I had fun smelling these fragrances. Even though everything isn't my vibe, I can appreciate when somebody's going in and doing something different. I just learned about a new note, one to look out for and possibly stay away from in future perfumes. Um, I Thank you, Belle Centaur. I enjoyed myself. Um, I really, really do love um or let me let me not say love i can't i gotta be careful about saying love for stuff i haven't worn on my skin yet i really do enjoy serotonin and i think i'm going to enjoy alpha pink gotta wear it first still vibes so close to mfk you guys had to know that when you made it i'm not i won't even accept another answer that tells me you did not notice the similarities because it's too close especially in the opening especially before you spread it just comes out of the box or the whatever we're gonna call this thing smelling like mfk not being sprayed yet um bola that one love 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 i think it's extremely sexy um it makes me feel like i want to be a bad girl in the best way in the best way and it has oud in it and it intrigues me like that so you're on to something you're on to something Thank you for seeking me out. I don't know how you you saw me, how you found me. I'm I'm so humbled um, and very appreciative of the opportunity to uh, try your stuff. I hope you're not upset about the arm moist thing because it's, it's not my vibe. Um, but yeah, again, thank you. And thank you for allowing me to be who I am and be honest because I wouldn't do it any other way anyway. So yeah, there's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video today. Don't forget that there will be a part two coming. We're going to talk about the 12 decants that I have. Some of them I'd heard of before, but none of them have I ever smelled. And the majority of them, I didn't even know existed. So I think it's going to be really, really fun and hopefully less chaotic than this video here. <laughs> Please don't forget to click the like button. Also, subscribe to the Terror Squad. I love to have you here. And... Select that notification bell so that you never miss any of my future uploads. I want to talk to you guys in the comments. You got to tell me if you've ever heard about Bell Centaur. Have you seen them on Instagram? Have you tried them? You got to tell me if you like any of these, um, the ones that I purchased, if you've owned them, especially like the Paris Hiltons, things that have maybe been out for a while. Do you have the new Burberry or the Toilette formulation? What did you think? Do you have the new Nova, Angel Nova or the Toilette formulation? Rest in peace. Mr. Mugler. Um, let me know what you think. We could talk about any plethora of things that we talked about in this video in the comments. You know, I love talking to you guys. I'll see you there. And until then, bye.